Alright guys, so for this installment of Truth From Tales, we're going to be visiting one of my favorite subjects. It's something I've been fascinated with since I was a little kid. Space. Now, space is a wonderful topic, but it's something a lot of people don't really know too much about. And I'm here to give you my top five things that I feel people misunderstand about space. And hopefully, when this video is over, you might understand just a little bit better too. So, let's go right on into number five. Now, I can probably tell what you're thinking. Yes, the flag is still on the moon, the one we planted there. NASA put a flag up there, first time we went there. The flag's still standing, but not the US flag necessarily as you would know it, because solar radiation has been hitting that flag for decades, so it would resemble something closer to just a plain white flag, if it's standing at all, because it could very easily have disintegrated. We haven't been back to sea. So, as it stands, there's not an American flag like this one. But, I mean, it's still up there. It still represents something in this country. So, let's go right on into number four, then. Now, this is a tricky one, because anyone who knows anything about the phases of the moon know that the moon orbits the Earth, and... At any given time, only a certain portion of it, or all of it, or almost none of it, are going to be showing. And then there's the uh, dark side of the moon. Now, the reason I say that there isn't a dark side of the moon is because that side actually has light shown on it. It just never actually faces us. So, really, it's more the far side of the moon, which is a better way to put it. Now, let's streamline into number three. Now, it's a common idea that there can't be any fire in space whatsoever. That's not necessarily true. There are other things that can catch fire in space other than oxygen, but in the context of an explosion, if a piece of a ship breaks off or something goes wrong, there could be something that resembles an explosion, but it's not going to be fiery and as climactic. More likely than not, it's going to be a flash of light followed by no sound because, you know, there's no sound in space and not a large fiery collision like you would get from some Hollywood films. Now on to number two. Okay, so it's 2018. Pretty much everyone has seen the old Star Wars movies. One of the most famous scenes is the Millennium Falcon dodging around asteroids in an asteroid belt. It's very tight, very action-filled, the only problem being that wouldn't have to happen at all because asteroids in a asteroid field are actually miles and miles apart, and most of it is actually just empty space, so you could cruise right on through and just worry about all those TIE fighters behind you. Now let's get down to my number one favorite factor, should I say, fallacy about space. It's another side effect of pop culture. People seem to think that your head will just explode if you happen to be caught in space without a helmet. That's not true. Your body will start to expand, but you won't explode. I mean, because skin's very elastic, so you'll puff out, and most likely the way you'll go is oxygen deprivation, which isn't much prettier, but you know you wouldn't have to worry about just... So those are five things that I think everybody should know about space, and I mean, I've known those things for a while, but it always gives me good perspective to go back and look up other things about it, because, you know, I don't know everything either, and I'm just hoping I taught you guys something, uh, keep tuned for the next thing, who knows what I'll be talking about, and uh, yeah, have a good day.